look, it's great whenever yourself or your viewers makes a glitch so you, you know, you can go back and watch those highlights and, you know, keep a bit more evergreen content outside of your stream. But if no one is watching that content, what good are they? And look, I know that Twitch has kind of announced this whole discovery feed thing, which is basically TikTok, but sharing your clips straight to your Discord is a great way to keep your community who is already engaged with your content up to date that there is a new clip for them to watch. And best of all, like everything that we do, it's completely automated. So like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. First things first, as always, we're gonna go right into Mix It Up. And from here, we're going to create an action group. So if we open up Mix It Up, we go down to our action groups. Let's just hit new action group and let's call it within the command editor, new clip to discord. Within our command groups, I'm just gonna call this one fundamentals for now. We are going to unlock the command to make sure that it runs whenever we want it to run. From our actions drop down, we are going to add a Twitch action. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create a new clip. So just from clip, um, we can include the delay if we want to, um, show info in chat. This we don't wanna do, cause we do want to kind of manually push that through. So you can see here that the result is dollar sign clip URL. This is a special identifier. So essentially that whatever clip you generate using this action, the clip URL you can put into another action using that special identifier, which surprise, surprise, that's what we wanna do. So if we add another chat message action, this we're gonna send the chat message of essentially whatever we wanna send within our Twitch chat. So for example, hey, at dollar sign username. So this will pull through the username who whoever triggered the event, so whether it's yourself or whether it's someone else um, and putting the at symbol at the start to so make sure it tags them within that chat message. Hey, at username, thank, thank you for um, taking that clip. Sounds weird, but we're gonna stick with it. Thank you for taking that clip. Um, here is the, oh, if I can type properly, here is the URL. We're gonna paste in our special identifier and let's just put a couple of hearts at the end of it. So first thing we've done is we create our clip. The second thing we've done is we are sending a chat message within the stream chat. And the third thing we wanna do is we want to send a message in our Discord so we can let our community know, potentially those who aren't currently watching that we have sent, uh, we have created a new clip, sorry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna copy this chat message because um, we're probably gonna want the format to be kind of the same. We are going to choose a channel. So for this, I'm just gonna put this in our, uh, we have a, here we got videos and shorts channel, the chat message, I'm just gonna paste that in there. So instead of all this bit at the start, um, we're not gonna put at dollar sign username, or we could if we wanted to, to be honest. Um, but for this, I don't want to, I just wanna say, hey all, um, we have a new fancy clip and stream highlight. Come and have a look-see, uh, if I can fix it up, here we go. Come and have a look-see, there we go. So that's the chat message I wanna send within my Discord chat. Now, if you haven't already connected Discord to your Mix It Up, um, I have made a video about that, so I'll link that up in the cards and in the description. But also within that video, I do show you how to tag certain roles. So if you are looking to tag a role within this Discord message, um, you can definitely do that. Um, it shows you within that video how to set that up. But essentially now that we've got that action group set up, what we wanna do is we actually wanna create a command so we can trigger that action group. So I'm just gonna hit save. I'm gonna go back to the menu. We're gonna go down to our commands. So this is our chat commands. And then within new command, I'm just going to call the name uh, create clip, for example, within our command group. So let's just put this back into our fundamentals. For the chat, let's do clip and create clip. So there's two ways in which we can trigger it. And then for the action, it's very easy enough. All we want to do is we just want to run a command action and we're gonna run a command of the action group type and just make sure that command is selected. Also, before I forget, we do wanna unlock the command. So to make sure that whenever this command is requested, that it is run as soon as possible. So essentially we don't lose the content within that clip. 
Also, if you wanted to, you could tweak up the usage requirements on this. So by default, this will essentially be allowed for anyone within your stream chat to create a clip. But if you wanted to reserve this specific one for a moderator, for instance, you can use this button here, roll, and then you can select a subscriber or a moderator. So essentially, if you, if you choose a subscriber, sorry, you will be able to be run by a subscriber, a moderator, or a streamer. Or if you choose moderator, it will only be able to be run by the moderator or the streamer. What I probably would recommend doing is you could potentially set up two different types of action groups, one which essentially notifies the Discord and one which doesn't. And then that way you can always put a conditional logic in there that says if they're a moderator, ping the Discord. If they're not, don't ping the Discord. Just depends how many clips and how you want to notify a community of all this kind of stuff. Now that's it for basically all of the out of the box switch side. Um, quick note of if you stream on YouTube like myself, um, you can't really call YouTube to create a clip, at least through the API. It is kind of existing within the dashboard. You can create like markers and stuff like that, um, but kind of got to go in post and edit all that up. It's a bit it's a bit of a weird experience. So for YouTube, it's not that much, but this is where I would definitely recommend leveraging, um, you know, other OBS plugins, for example, like Aiden with the vertical plugin that you can easily do the backtrack recording on. I probably will make a video on Aiden actually and kind of that whole workflow, um, but essentially you would kind of just tweak up the action group. So if we actually go back into the action group, um, I'll show you what I would do to kind of change it up. So within action groups, um, if we open up our new clip to discord one, now with Adam, you can do the back track recording so you can have it stored locally. You could even, you know, make it upload to a Google drive folder if you wanted to, but um, you can't necessarily upload a big video file into your YouTube, uh, into your discord, sorry, through mix it up. Just the file size and the upload, it just doesn't work. Um, so what you could do, however, is you could make it add a hotkey action. So within our actions, you would do your input keyboard and mouse. It's going to actually turn all these ones off so they won't run, but so we can still keep them from a legacy perspective. So you would want to make sure that your input setup, so whatever hotkey you've set up as your backtrack recording, you would set that up as this input. Um, and then as well, what you would then do is you would add a chat message. And that chat message, essentially what I would recommend putting is, hey, at dollar sign username. So again, if I can type username properly, um, again, tagging that user who has triggered the event. Um, thanks for taking, uh, uh, creating, it's probably the better word, creating that clip. Um, it will be posted on our channel soon not subscribed why not do that now so to make sure you don't miss out on this wonderful clip that has been created so again, um, we're just basically saying and just letting that viewer know that they've created the clip. So again, we can kind of look through the chat and it's kind of like a success message in that regard. Um, we're letting them know they'll be posted on the channel soon and then closing it off that in the case that either themselves or someone else in the chat isn't subscribed, um, you know, just incentivizing them to subscribe to the channel just to make sure that they actually can go back and see their content. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm kind of surprised how quickly we've gone through with this one. Um, peek behind the curtain. I haven't really stumbled that much. I've kind of gone through this whole video in one go, which look, I'm going to be honest, I'm quite proud of myself about. Um, but in general, look, I would really recommend setting this up. Just depending on the size of your community, I would recommend tweaking those usage requirements, whether you're a moderator or not. You just want to make sure you don't overload your Discord community with too many notifications. And then as well, even though we've done one version for Twitch and one version for YouTube, you could kind of combine them. So for your actions within Twitch, if you do have a plugin like Adam set up, you could still add in that hotkey action. And then that way you have a nice vertical optimized video so that if you want to post it within your Twitch discovery feed, if you want to post it within TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or wherever you want to post it, you've got a landscape version and you also got a nice portrait vertical video version of your stream highlight. That's it, pretty much everything for me. Um, it's a great fundamental one to have set up. But if you do have any questions, as always, please do not hesitate to leave that in the comments down below. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know, also leave your favorite emoji or just how you're feeling today or feeling right now or what you have for dinner or everything of the sorts. 
But it's been me, Drew, your friendly Mix It Up neighborhood ambassador. Stay safe, stay healthy, treat people with kindness, and I will see you in the next video. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Happy birthday, Ringo Starr, even though it's not your birthday as the day of this recording.